In this video, we provide an overview of how to use basic recipes in Maple Systems HMIs and how to set them up in EB Pro. Maple Systems HMIs contain internal non-volatile memory specifically allocated for creating recipes. Data for recipes are stored in RW or retentive word memory registers in the HMI. These can be used to download any number of preset values into a PLC for batch operations. You can create recipes using any combination of BCD, integer, floating point, or string data types as preset values. There are 65,535 retentive word registers that are available for users to store basic recipe data. The sample project shown here can be downloaded from our website, maplesystems.com. It is titled Recipes RW. In this example, you can see that I've got recipe number one pulled up. We see the color blue here, and this can be considered our blue paint recipe, where we have five ingredients that make up the recipe, in addition to the name of the paint. Now I can switch to our next recipe in the HMI using these set word objects. For example, the second recipe is green, and I can modify the values here. And if I wish, I can then download or transfer this recipe to our PLC using the Download Recipe button. This is the data transfer. In this sample project, we're just writing to local word memory, but you can imagine writing to your PLC in this fashion. Now, if you wish, you can see all the data currently residing in retentive word memory from this page accessible here. Now, what allows us to use the same set of numeric and ASCII objects for multiple recipes is indexing. Each ingredient here is indexed using an RWI address. For example, the name uses RWI0 as a starting index. And if you combine the RW index address with the value in the offset register at local word 9000, we can derive where a given ingredient value is stored in the HMI in RW memory. We would recommend reviewing these two pages here and here for more information, for example on RW addresses. It's important to point out here that retentive word addresses can be used to store data even while the HMI is powered off. However, you should be aware that the default interval at which the HMI will save data to persistent memory is every 60 seconds. That is to say, if you modify a recipe ingredient's value and immediately power off the HMI, you may end up losing that value. As we describe here, you can set up a manual save function using a set bit object at local bit 9029. Looking at the RW index information here is helpful too. Customers sometimes have trouble figuring out the difference between RW and RW index registers. But if you read through this screen and play around with the sample project, you'll master basic recipes in no time. The key is that RW index registers do not store data themselves. It's the RW registers that actually store the recipe data. Determining which RW address is used to store a given piece of data is as easy as adding up the RW index address plus the offset value at local word 9000. So for example, if you use an index of RWI 500 and the value at local word 9000 contains a 100, then your data will ultimately be stored at retentive word 600. In this project, we have set up just five recipes. But you can easily extend this if you want. You would just need to increase the high limit on this set word object here. Let's take a look. This set word object has a high limit of 80, but if you wanted, you can change this to 100 to allow for one additional recipe, or six total. And in our case, we're using only six ingredients in each recipe, so in fact it's 18 registers if you count them up. And we jog by 20 each time, going up or down to cycle through them, 
but you can certainly have more ingredients than this in your projects. So let's imagine you had 10 ingredients you need to use and they end up occupying 30 registers. You should just simply change the decrement or increment value here accordingly to 30. That's all for basic recipes. Thank you for watching and thanks for choosing Maple Systems. Until next time.